What's up YouTube? I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. It's been kind of crazy around here. Uh, school ending, I just graduated, everything like that. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll do a little bit of an update. A lot of things are going on right now, um, so uh, let's check it out. I don't know if I ever did an update on the box or anything, but uh, I'm using Chuck's uh, old box. This is the one that he had built for his uh, GPI subs. I am uh, still waiting on my GPI recones, so hopefully they'll be in in like the next couple days, and uh, then I can start running the second amp when my high output alternator gets back. Uh, talk about the alternator in a little bit. Um, I built like a little platform for my uh, batteries because of the wheel well, you know, it was a problem. Um, now I have two runs of positive from front to back, I added a few grounds, everything like that. Love the Toolmaker bus bars. Um, got a GPI decal. Thank you, Too Short. Let's see if you can see it. It's black on black, so it's a little bit hard to see in not direct sunlight. Alright, so let's move on back here to the amps. I, uh, I now have two amps, but I'm only running one at the moment. Um, it's kind of hard to see in there, I know. It's the, it's two Planet Audio. Let me go to the other side. Two Planet Audio BB2400.1s. Whenever uh, whenever my alternator comes back in and my recones get here, I can run both of them. Uh, but for right now, I'm just running the bottom one. Um, I really love them, to be honest. They're they're great, uh, especially you know, think Planet Audio. But these actually outperform the audio pipe a lot. You know, still running the same head unit, everything like that. Base CD. Alright, so back under the hood, we, uh, my high output alternator was, uh, not performing to its best ability, so I sent it back to Nate at Excessive Amperage, and he is going to fix it for me. So now, back to my OEM alternator for the lose. Anyway, um, yeah, still got the runs as a zero gauge to it and stuff. I haven't really been banging on it much just because, uh, you know, voltage drop and everything like that. So I haven't really tested how far it drops yet, but I plan on testing it after I recharge all the batteries. Still wired up over there for everything, just waiting on it to come back. But I figured I would just give you all a short little update on everything that's going on, and hopefully here soon I will have my amps both running and everything set up so i appreciate y'all keeping me going and everything and uh i'll give you another update whenever whenever i get everything going thanks guys see you